All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back to my Hawk Banger Recap Marathon. So we're gonna check out Jajusi's recent recap of the Matrix Trilogy. That's right. And this one is called The Matrix Trilogy is Top Tier Fighting. Jajusi is, is back with another banger, banger, banger. And I'm excited for this one because I'm a huge fan of The Matrix, the first one, of course. No hate for the sequels, but I love the first one so much. It, it was, it became one of my favorite movies of all freaking time. I watch it every single year. I mean, back in 1999 when it first came out, it became one of the greatest, the greatest this movie's ever made it's i was like wow dude this is so i was like when i first saw this movie out on uh, the dvd i was like okay now that's this is going to be a movie i'm going to remember for a long long time and that's still still to this day it still holds up one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time and really like i said greatest greatest movies in general so yeah Overall, I'm excited to see this recap, so let's go straight into it. Judge Jusu's recap of the Mitch Trilogy. Let's check it out, baby. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Thank you, Jesus. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whatever we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Great quote. You're... Bang. Bang! So today, we introduce a new concept to the okay. channel, Jutsu Mafia. It's called The Breakdown. Y'all okay. comment characters and fights y'all want covered on the channel, and they might be featured here in the next iteration of The Breakdown. Making his first appearance on The Breakdown. Today, we are talking about the time Neo, Neo. from The Matrix became him and gave mm -hmm. Mr. Smith crazy work. Drop the tape! All right. So the phase starts, and bro Neo turns around to face one of the most hating goofies in fiction, Agent Smith. Yeah. Both of these fools start hitting the Arthur, and all I can <laughs> picture in my head is some Western standoff music playing in the background. <laughs> Boy, once that newspaper left the frame, man's Neo showed us a glimpse of the menace to come years yeah, later. John, John Wick, mm -hmm. and pulled out the glizzy. Got these fools moving like this a Nuketown 1v1 from <laughs> Call of Duty. They clash together and start unloading the clips, boy. Wait, I mean mags. Got me in my seat as a kid like, ooh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> then I was like, wait, these doodle bobs not hitting no shots. Nope. Like, my God, what are my witnesses? <laughs> Shaking my head. Both these ninjas like 0 and 15 with the strap. <laughs> they land on their side like that one Fortnite emote. And Agent Smith has the audacity to talk junk. Talking about some, you're empty. Well, of course, Goofy, both <laughs> y'all got the same shooting percentage as your average neighborhood op. And that means you ain't hitting nothing with that weak old side aim. But we're not here for the stick talk. We're here for them hands. So let me get suited and booted, because it's time to break this down. They right. both stand up. Well, Agent Smith stands up while Neil over here moving like there's a shawty in the room. Like, bro, chill. We know you're cold. They toss them blicks to the side, and Neil charges in thinking it's sweet. But Smith has locked down D, parrying all bros' attacks and kicking him parallel with this submit beam. Got Neil in disbelief, hitting the stank face as he watches this heavy left coming in to grease him. He weaved that jump and realized this is his movie. Giving Smith one, two, three, four. Five boot kicks to the body. Neo out here like SpongeBob in the Squeaky Boots episode. <laughs> Agent Smith turned around and his fit is tarnished. Man's glasses broken everything. And if you've seen The Matrix, you know these glasses are dang near indestructible. Yeah. Even Zeno not erasing this kind of drip away. Smith couldn't handle that disrespect and threw away the buffs. The Cartier's. Then <laughs> pressed Neo with straight heavy attacks. Man, this nigga really a button spammer for real. <laughs> but it paid off. Cause somehow Neo settings are in Inverted while this kick got him painting the wall with his spinicus. Bro, Neo turns his head with this. Well, I'll be dang. Old yes. reaction and put a quick two stepper to Smith's gut. He pushed up, got the fist caught and swatted away, but slipped in a five hit combo extender to bro's chest and jaw. Agent Smith diffy though, boy. Man's out here like Rick Ross talking about some. I'ma eat it. Then proceeds to lock both of Neo's elbows in just to initiate headbutt. one of the most crash out yeah, fade headbutt. techniques in all fiction, mm -hmm. the headbutt. And not only did this goofy spam two headbutts in a quick succession, but he went in for a third trying to give Neo a generation's worth of CTE. Neo like, chill. Bro, yes. stick to the script and put his knee up just to get punched dead in his sternum. Any nigga that walks you down with the crimson and chin face build <laughs> is not with the games. Mans is not playing, trying to knock the plot out of Neo, but he is Weed Nation certified, then thought a lariat was his saving grace. 
Smith caught that mug like, bro, you're not from the hidden cloud, bitch. <laughs> Caving bro's rib in three times and putting them Steve Maddens on his bottom lip. Hey, come on, Neo. Ain't no way you letting this goofy with this middle school principal bill make you stumble backwards into an athletic position. <laughs> See, this is what I be hating about them MCs and movies, bro. They stay getting cooked expeditiously like, bro, yeah. lock in. Smith yeah. got this fool flying across the subway floor like pocket change. Now his fit looking like the bottom of my shoe <laughs> after walking through Walmart. <laughs> Nigga got hit so hard, he felt that junk IRL. Got him coughing up high as ketchup. Bro, Neo shawty and I like, dang, I got rizzed up by a fraud. But Neo must have heard me talking that cash money. Cause he got up and hit them folks. Knocking all that bubonic plague dust off his body. And entered his dog pose. And this is where I came to a realization. These MCs really just be holding back for real. Cause Smith came rushing in just to get his arms turned into a Twizzler. Then Neo was like, monkey see, monkey do nigga. And hit bro with the same combo he just did. But he wasn't done running that bro. Then started walking up bro body like a stair climber machine. This goofy Neo trying to look like one of those prime BBL specialists. I'm sitting in my chair licking my chops because this fade is really fading right now. Got Agent Smith gritting his teeth once again. With this hungry hunger hippo underbite, Neo was like, let me fix that for you yep. and throat chop him. But this is pre-chosen one Neo, so the plot armor only lasted about three combos before Agent Smith had Neo's back thinking the wall was some of that memory foam. Then spammed that goofy with heavy blows to his gut and knocked him into the bar. Yeah. At this point, yeah. it's up for Neo, no cap. I ain't gonna lie. Agent Smith looking at bro like he just had a bright idea. Then started dragging bro by the leg. And right here, I already knew it was up. Man slung bro onto the tracks. Then looked to the right, cause he heard that 6 o'clock train to meet the Lord. Then he <laughs> jumped in to finish his food. Something <laughs> these main characters need to learn from. <laughs> Choking bro out like baby boy while the train is coming to turn him into a gang beast character. <laughs> but Neo was saving his last bit of plot from this fight to show off his 50 inch vertical. <laughs> then hitting Smith with yep. that. Psych! Reversal! And that concludes <laughs> take one of this fade. Well, at least I thought. Because Neo running through this building like an Among Us game. <laughs> Opening the door, and look who we have here. Yeah. Man, I saw them all black buffs, and I was like, Boy, ain't no way. <laughs> but Smith came back on straight tiny. Yeah. Man's ain't doing no more fighting. Straight blick talk, nigga. Got Neo painted against the wall, slumped. I know bro gonna cut out this section of the wall and sell that mug on eBay for a bag. That mug gonna be called the op who stop oppin'. Yeah, that's a masterpiece right there. Bro, the new Da Vinci. Man's Neo started flatlining IRL and his shawty had to pull out the trump card. She used her remaining milk and bro horny tail woke up so quick had the whole room about to collapse from sheer simp energy. <laughs> that true love first kiss. She told bro to get up, and he wanted that milk so bad, he started locking the freak in. Smith and his agents turned around like, Are you serious right now, bro? And let the sticks do the talking. But all it took was a no from Neo, and he had them bullets moving like they was on the wrong server. Then he did one of the coldest things I've ever seen. Yep. I can't lie. Love that. Bro stopped the bullets, then grabbed one out the air like, Really, nigga? You ain't even using hollows? <laughs> and dropped them mugs. All it took was a little milk, and bro yeah, really became one. the chosen one. Somebody better call that man Umar. Save him. We are gonna go from <laughs> chosen one into 2%. Got Agent <laughs> Smith in shambles. He heated at this site. Bro ran in and got all his attacks period so nonchalantly. Man's Neo got so bored of playing with bro, he put his hands behind his back and turned to the side, my hey, this. and kept mixing bro up. <sighs> Damn. Then turned his head back to the right and gave him that look, putting that steel toe dead into his sternicus. Then gonna pull the leg back to show off the balance work. Boy, mm. I know Keanu Reeves was on set, shaking in them boots trying to pull this off. Yeah. Multiple takes. Yeah. Cause ain't no way bro leg stayed that parallel with yeah, no seriously. shakage. Then he ran at bro. Yeah, I think he did some serious training for this movie. And dove straight into him. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> but Neil must have released a bag of perk 30s in dude. Cause he started crashing out and blew up turning into some Tetris pieces. And Neil standing there like, my work is done. Now that's tape one of a generational beef started between these two goofies. Now that Neo is the one who can stop him. Let's find out. Drop the tape. So it starts, and my boy Neo gets interrupted by this goofy Mr. Smith walking in like he Itachi from Naruto. Man's got trolls flying with him and everything. Neo is baffled at this sight, because he could have swore he packed this ninja up 
a whole movie ago. So he put the shades on because it's time to lock in. Smith started spewing a whole bunch of BS talking about these two are connected somehow. <laughs> like, bro, get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? <laughs> and I guess Smith took this Itachi persona to heart. Bro started summoning clones like he was putting Neo in a Genjutsu. Got him spinning around. Then he jabbed him in the chest trying to turn him into a normal nigga. But Neo was like, go away now and got straight to throwing hands with these clones. The I actually really enjoyed the fight between Neil and, and all the Agent Smiths. I enjoyed this fight. These two in the back caught a face full of basketball court grime off the bottom of his shoe. Then it pans to the top view. And tell me why these doodle bob clones only throwing jabs at Neil. Like if y'all fools don't start sending some haymakers at bro. Got Neil over here styling on y'all. He locked elbows with two behind him so he could double kick the goofies in the front. Mm. Then he hit a backflip on him just because he felt like it. I guess these clones IQ starts to drop off by 10 points each time a new one is made because these ninjas are about dumb as rocks like look how neo really reverse jumping why the hell patrick looking like that though these fools and you know he loves his kick this clone right here got turned into a california roll mid-air bro is throwing them around kicking them in the jaw airborne taste out their mouths and the list keeps going on i know the main smith somewhere in this mix getting the grits beat out his body trying to hmm. blend in with the commotion hmm. it's probably him right here trying to sneak just to get his body thrown at his clothes like a sack lunch and Neo really is different out here, bro. Dude turning defense into offense. I'm talking double whammy. Look how bro got jabbed in the chin, but used the momentum to drop kick some sense into this clone skull. Then he started wilding. Man's hit the cheerleader kick on these two goofies, then put out the Superman impression on the next two. Bro whole body is basically parallel with the court. And while on the ground, he made those shoes connect with two more bodies before he stood up. And it pans out to this old lady. And dang, mm. this fool Neo banging out for real. How did this goofy get sent on a first class ticket to Jupiter? Mm. Mans went flying. That boy got that dang vibranium in his punch. Mm. Turns out this lady was just one of the agents that escaped Smith's cloning campaign. At least until the main Smith came over and greeted him with a jab to his gut, turning him into a world class dick rider. <laughs> It pans back to Neo, and he got socked in the mouth. I'm talking laid out on the concrete like that moldy cheese from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But I guess my ninja got the cheese touch because he popped up and continued to put the paws on these clones. It got so bad, man Smith started calling in reinforcements. My guy had to regroup and launch padded off this clone chest. Bro. You are not in Fortnite. But he landed Cedar Court and turned all his Hall of Fame badges on. The clones rushed in and caught a lean back. Got this Smith out here team killing. Then he parried into a sidewinder punch on this clone's clavicle. They try to hold him back, but he kicks one, headbutts the other, then proceeds to literally, and I mean literally, walk down on these niggas. Somebody help this man. If this isn't one of the best reverse jumpings I've ever seen, gotta be top two, not two for uh. Shosky. And these Smith clones ain't playing either. Look how Neo vaulted off dude chest again, flying back in that backstroke like he an Olympic swimmer just to catch a form tackle to his side. Yeah. Now he rolling on the ground. But he pops up, uses this clone like a bowling ball, trying to get a strike on all the other Google Bobs. I know bro is a Wii Sports bowling champion with that form. It was impeccable. It pans back and somehow Neo getting his back real comfortable with that wall again. But he didn't have enough. So he runs up and rips a stripper pole out the ground he pole. hit that spin moves i said spin, spin move. move and ah. clobbered this clone and i ain't gonna lie out of all the clones that got greased that nigga right there definitely dead he ain't getting back up hmm. had all the other ones looking at him in unison like dang yeah we we're cooked but they ain't no hoes <laughs> so they rushed in getting minked up and bro decided to hit that helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> Bro landed back center court for the final stretch and got back straight to business. They put that slow-mo on this frame right here, and I was like, maybe this clone will get right. But nah, soon as that slow-mo wore off, he caught a pole to the back of his head. I'm over here crying laughing. Bro had his moment and squandered it. He never living that down. Then Neo played footsie switch. Forgive me, I'm yawning. I just got from work. I'm just gonna get all these reactions done by today. These other niggas got him out there reaching for Earth. And here comes another dead body. Look at him loading up a haymaker. Just to catch a pole to the jaw. Bro got sent flying into a pool of stairs. Neo out here giving niggas a chance to escape mid-fade. And packs are getting rolled all over the place. Teeth getting reorganized. 
and these clones are still fighting. But Neo hit this clone with a Bryce Harper swing, got him flying through the park bench. And look who it is. The real this Smith. the main Smith. Mm -hmm. I knew that ninja was getting in the freight trying to cause commotion. Now he over here on the ground. He was snooping around somewhere he had no control. <laughs> but he's the real hoe of this fade. They called in more reinforcements to jump. One nigga, may I say. One nigga. One. Doodle Bobs just started piling at the gates like this a rave party. My guy doing the best he can to fend off these scoundrels. And the clones starting to get some confidence now and started flagging out. So Neo styled on them again, flipping back, putting Buddy in a spin buster combo. But then he got socked in the mouth. And I'm going to pause it right here. I ain't gonna even hold you. This scene right here is peak. Whoever wrote this particular choreography, I hope you see this video because you made my childhood so exciting. Because this fool Neo dropped oh, yeah, that pole movie, into yeah. the ground and was literally soft. was running across these goofies' chests like this just a game to him. But all the fun has to end someday because after making all these clones hit the limbo for 10 seconds, yes. the main smith came in and de-armed my guy and kicked him through like mad clones. Mm. Now he's trying to escape playing leapfrog with their heads and got tackled once again. And here comes the dog pile. <laughs> got this one clone moving like those dudes in sports who be talking junk because they won, even see, though they didn't do jack squat. Zero, zero. Like, what are you talking for? Like, be freaking for real, bro. <laughs> but Neo used his last bit of dog energy, and boom! All these goofies yep. got sent flying back. Then he loaded up that one million inch vertical mm. and flew away. And all the clones just gonna look around and walk away like this just another day at the job. Like, nah. Y'all niggas were indeed getting folded. Don't yes. act tough. Anyways, if we skip ahead a movie, this beef went for yet another round. Mm -hmm. I don't see why these goofies can't just run the ones and settle this already. Maybe it'll happen here. Drop the tape. Starting it off, we got Neo walking through the rain while the Neo clones surrounding him. They got this mud looking like a Sunday service revival. All yes. these Deacon Smiths just standing around grimacing at our boy. And why they so deep? These doodle bobs on the street, in the buildings, getting ready to see this immaculate fade. Then the OG Smith steps out, moving like he finna hit a stroll on a HBCU campus. They both hit that infamous Arthur pose, and it's time for their final bang out. These niggas get to sprinting at each other with this absolutely horrendous running form. They met dead in the middle to throw straight hands. Smith threw that heavy and got full countered into a combo clinic. He started getting work so bad, he forgot how to fight like a real nigga. Those started button smashing and throwing Sharkeisha blows. But of course, one of them got to land. So they slow mode this hit and they both got sent flying and you can tell this goofy smith was the last pick in all the sports activities while neo hitting the slow-mo backflip landing like a menace smith and got sit skidding across the pavement on his spine bro this face starting to get out of hand yes. these fools said bump it let's turn this into an anime so they both flew up and clashed making even the rain stop before this black air force energy hmm. now they tussling in the air like this a school lunch brawl but this is playing right into smith's hand like neo Come on now, you know this Goofy is a crash out. Mm -hmm. Now look at you, then caught a headbutt and got sit flying Spinacus first into this yes. building. Rodan even lost his specs. The pull up was immaculate though. Smith pulled up on timing. Bro looking like Clark Kent, but got his hairline weaved to the he back of his this. head. Neo back flipped into a flash tackle, trying to grease Smith. And Smith hit that Ayata pose. And they <laughs> both bounced off each other. Of course that D1 crash out ate that mug and started talking nonsense. So Neo started to hit them folks again and pause it. Boy right here, I thought this fool was about to hit a Kamehameha <laughs> wave in this mug. But instead, he went disrespectful, sticking that palm out yep. and telling the barber's mm. worst nightmare to bring it. Man's rushed in just to get parried, caught a chop to the head and a dress shoot to his mouth. Then Neo was like, you like fruit, huh? How about you swallow your Adam's apple, yes. nigga? And Neo really moving like Sanji out this mug. It's like all this fool does is throw kicks. Mm. Smith caught that elbow and tried to boom our guy. That didn't work. Nope. So he caught a right and some more leather knocking the chap off his lips. And right here, I couldn't do nothing but laugh. Look how quick bro kicked him. Man's got cooked so bad, it looked like he was getting pimp slapped. But nah, them straight toe jams, my boy. 
then got his guts kicked into oblivion, flying back, looking like a capital C. Now Neo looking at him. And what is Smith doing, bruh? Dude shook his head like he had that Justin Bieber cut. <laughs> like, nigga, you're balding. <laughs> they clash again, committing multiple accounts of public vandalation on these buildings. And now we're back to the school lunch brawling. They pull up to the sky like this is Dragon Ball Z, hitting that loop-de-loop, -loop, and clashed again. Neo tried spamming a base level combo, but got parried into an uppercut. <laughs> got Ro flipping back. Man's body out here playing heads or tails. <laughs> After that flipping, he regained with this T-pose, and look <laughs> at the lightning in the background. That means he's finna cook in this mug. Bro came toe jams first trying to kick Neo head off. Then he side kicked him. Got him heated. And he flew off to throw a temper tantrum. At least I thought. Bro hit that U-turn and said, I'm now pulling, pulling up, up on, on you, nigga. nigga. These goofies <laughs> clash so hard, they made a dirty bubble. But Smith is on devious timing, trying to end Neo's career. With this absolute devastating primary lotus, the other clones pulled up to witness this pack-up session, and Neo over here rethinking life. Because why do they got my guy laying in the mud like a floor mat? He even got Smith over here talking like he an intellectual. Bro over here speaking in Eminem. But Neo gets up like, y'all finished, y'all done. And any nigga who pulls up to the fade loading up a punch like this is up to no good. Too late, both the licks got parried. But some stupid possessed this man, so he spammed it again. Guess what happens? I'll give you time. If you're thinking same result, you are correct. Neo like. And hit bro with the meanest right hook. Got his face looking like that rubber material. A full five knuckle shuffle imprinted on this goofy face. Then he finished it off with a standing <laughs> double fist. Hey, y'all better put some respect on the OG goat of this fading stuff, yep. bro. Neo is really like that. Yep. Anyways, more bangers to come, y'all. Oh, yeah. And Juice Mafia. I mess with y'all heavy, you know what I'm saying? 70k subs? Nice. Yeah. Y'all trying to make a real nigga <laughs> cry, man. <laughs> But anyways, I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and go ahead and bow them heads. Dear Lord, we come to you yet again with humble and repentful hearts. The Juicy Mafia come to ask for your mercy and forgiveness as we all are sinners and fall short of your glory. We also come to say thank you because you continue to bless us in many ways on a daily basis. And we couldn't ask for a better father. Yes. So thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, see? Juicy Mafia. Hidden technique. Peace. All right. Jusu Mafia forever, baby. Well, yeah, this was an amazing recap, John Jusu. Thank you for covering this, because I don't think I ever reacted to any Matrix recap until now. You, you made this, man. Uh, this is this was such a great recap, such a great throwback, because I grew up with the Matrix trilogy, of course. And, you know, with the first one being already, already is one, one of the best, great, best, one of the greatest movies of all time. And it was like, damn, man. Takes me back. Takes me freaking back seeing it, man. So overall, don't be recap, John Jusu. Keep up the great work and can't wait for your other breakdowns you're going to cook. So, Hot Squad, that's my conclusion, my reaction to John Jusu's recap of the Matrix trilogy. So, George, please hit everybody and share your thoughts. How old was you when you saw every single Matrix movie? And, of course, Matrix Resurrections, of course, that came out three years ago. Can't believe it's all been three years ago. And also, they actually are making a fifth one coming out, but not with the Wachowskis, but uh, Drew Goddard. Who, by the way, who's um he became the director of the Cabin in the Woods. I'm I'm, the, I'm looking at his um his filmography now. So he was the writer of the first Cold Fit movie. He directed Cabin in the Woods. He wrote World War Z. The Martian got Oscar nominated for that. And Bad Times at El Royale. And Project Mel Harry with Phil and Chris Miller directing that. And he did Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Alias, Law, The Dead Devil. Oh he okay, oh okay, so he's the creator of Dead Devil. Okay, he created Dead Devil. The good place I'm familiar with that. And yeah. So yeah, Drew Goddard is actually writing and directing, I believe. So hopefully that'll be good. So overall, Hot Squad, this was an amazing recap by Jaj Jusu. Keep her a good work, brother. Keep keep on cooking these. Keep on cooking these. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my Hot Banger recap marathon continuing with Castle's recap by Spider-Man 3. So I'm excited to see this one. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. <laughs>